the Trading Desk. We're here this week to do our interview with local businessman Dan Hoban. Of, he's the CEO and founder of G5 Search Marketing. Dan, welcome to the show. Welcome to the Trading Desk. Glad Thanks, to man. have you. Been Thanks. trying to have you for a while. Glad so. to be here. Tell us a little bit about how you ended up here in Bend, Oregon. Uh, like most of us, uh, it seems that we have a, a previous history before we came to Bend. How we got to Bend. Mm -hmm. So my wife and I came here in 2001 to a wedding. A friend of mine got married on a broken top, and mm -hmm. it was a hot August night. I was sitting on the deck, drinking a few cocktails, looking up at the mountains. This is a nice place. Yeah. So uh, Looking over the we, pond there, looking it was, at the It's a pretty good peaks. spot. So the next day after the wedding, we drove around and looked at real estate prices, looked at houses for sale. And uh, living in the Bay Area at the time, I thought there was something wrong. It was too cheap. <laughs> too cheap here. Yeah. So uh, we, uh, we came back to actually... Four months later, kind of the end of '01, had a dot com company. Post 9/11. Dot com company that down, did some big downsizing, so we came back and and uh, looked at prices, at the houses, and still pretty cheap, and right. uh, ended up buying a house that we saw the day we were here for the wedding. Yeah. So you, so you again, you spent about a decade, uh, ten to twelve years in in the in the Bay Area working on tech, you know, new tech. You were in that first wave of technology. Tell us a little bit about the, the companies you were involved with so while, you were, got, while you were working. I think I got I got lucky. I got in at a couple of dot coms early on. Um, was fortunate to see two companies go from startup to. Uh, IPO, mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, one of them later imploded. Any companies uh, we were familiar with? Well, one, one, well, so Smash, uh, so Software.net uh, is a company that became Beyond.com, went public, right. later uh, blew up. Uh, another company called BYND, C BYND <laughs> went down. And another one is uh, CyberSource, so we spun out of that actually, and that went public. And, and that was CYBS. CYBS. Yeah, CYBS. And it's back up today. It's doing well. Is it really? Yeah, believe so it or it not, it's still around. Wow. And it's involved with the third dot com, a company that I, that I was involved with called Smashcast, and we uh, got kind of caught up in the in the downturn, raised a bunch of money, and it, it was it all it the collapsed. the um, foosball tables and oh, yeah. vending machines oh, yeah, that yeah, you guys yeah. bought was, that brought you down. It was how fast could we spend our VC money? It was good. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Not quite sure if we ever had a business model that made sense, but we spent a lot of money and had a yeah. good time. It's a good time. So, so then that leads us three startups, uh, three comp or two of them, two of them went public, two were successful. You were on the uh, tail end of that, uh, and then you again, nine eleven came. You had already known about Bend. You came here. Did you have the business? Did you have G five in mind before you moved to Bend? No, not necessarily. Came up to Bend. Uh, still running uh, another a previous stock, that company, Smashcast. Okay. We had downsized, ran that for a while. So and, you were and running that kept, company uh, kept that my you eyes started open. there yeah, here. Exactly. Okay. Kept my eyes open, kind of looking, see what's going on, what opportunities were, right. and then stumbled upon this G5 opportunity. So key word there, stumbled. It wasn't right. something you were really searching for necessarily, but uh, the opportunities. Sh you know, tell us a little bit about the business, I guess, itself first. Sure. What it's, what it, what it uh, sure. I know a little bit about it, but our viewers don't. Sure. What does G5 Search do? Uh, right. So basically, we're in the uh, internet advertising space, local advertising, marketing, online space. Okay. Uh, we developed this a software platform that we use to, to help our clients manage their internet marketing. So you presence. sell the software to to our clients, to your and clients. we use the software ourselves. We provide it as a software and a service, if you okay. will, uh, to provide a marketing service. For so you them. sell software, and then there's a monthly fee associated exactly. with that software. Exactly. Okay. So there's, there's a residual piece exactly. of the business, it's which a is fantastic. Exactly. It's a monthly yeah. revenue for us. Um, and basically, it's we're looking at the local advertising space and how that has transitioned from traditional media to online. And by tradition, you mean radio, television, yeah, radio, tele newspaper, uh, yellow pages. Exactly, print yellow pages, local newspapers. You know, local advertising in the United States is a uh, it's 140 billion dollar, roughly half of all advertising is done uh, in, in local, local geo targeting, reaching someone in a specific area. And traditionally, that was done with print yellow pages, newspapers, and so forth. But if you look at those businesses today and how consumers have shifted online, the traditional media is really you know, paying the price. So they've gone from, what, are, what do the numbers look like today? They've gone from $140 billion to... Well, I, in general, $140 billion is on, is on the local, local advertising. And a very small, 3 to 5% of it is online today. Okay. Okay, but it's shifting quickly. Right. I think if you look at the big yellow page companies, uh, you got IDARC, AT&T, and R.H. Donnelly, the three big print yellow page companies. Two of them, IDARC and R.H. Donnelly, are in bankruptcy. Right. Right? You look at print newspapers, you get you know, the Seattle PI shut down this right. year, stop printing. Right. Colorado, the Colorado Rocky Mountain News, stop, shut down completely. Right. After 150 years in the business, stop printing. So there's this major transformation happening in right. the advertising, and it's shifting 
I think there's a two-part shift, if you will. The first part is the obvious kind of shift online. We're searching today on kind of the big screen monitor on your desktop. Mm -hmm. It's led by Google and you know maybe Yahoo and, and Microsoft will make I'm it. I'm going to cut you off here, there. but we're going to come back and talk about this local search because a lot of people don't understand it, and it's it's a real key point to understand how the search engine works and how you optimize that, and hence the uh, SEO. So when we come back to the trading desk, we will continue and, and, and localize this conversation a little bit more with uh, Dan Hoban.